Hi friends, kamusta? So welcome back. Do you want to be a permanent resident in one of the provinces in Canada? There is a new immigration program that only requires one year of work experience, no job offer, low IELTS, and those who are 21 years old and above who are welcome to apply. This is what you call the Newfoundland and Labrador Provincial Nominee Program or the NLPNP under priority skills. By the way, if you don't know me, my name is Jason Jim and I am making videos about international students, workers, and even residents here in Canada. So don't forget to click the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so that you will be updated every time that I post a video. Also, watch until the end of the video as I will provide you the step-by-step -step process and the list of in-demand jobs that the province need and you might be one of them are you ready let's begin so before i start i just want to let you know that i am not an immigration agent or even a consultant all the information that i will be giving you are in the description box so if you want to know more and read those check the description box as well so the Newfoundland and Labrador Provincial Nominee Program or the NLPNP has three categories which are the Express Entry Skilled Worker Category, Skilled Worker Category, and the International Graduate Category. For the Express Entry Skilled Worker, it requires you to provide an Express Entry Profile and you should be accepted in the Express Entry Pool. You also need to get a job offer in Newfoundland to qualify to this program. By the way, I made a video about Express Entry under Federal Skilled Worker Program and feel free to watch this as well. The second category is the Skilled Worker category. So you don't have to be in the Express Entry Pool. What you need is to get a Canadian job offer or your full-time job should be at least two years with possibility of extension from eligible Newfoundland and Labrador employers. Let's now go to the third category, which is the international graduate. So you must have a PGWP or the post-graduation work permit with NOC category zero, A or B. Or if your job is under NOC category C, make sure that it should be an in-demand occupation. Okay, so those are the three categories of NLPNP. But now, let us talk about the newest immigration program of Newfoundland Labrador that has opened, which is the Priority Skills Newfoundland and Labrador. So the Priority Skills NL process is intended to individuals who have work experience in occupations in demand in Newfoundland and Labrador specifically. So as well as a high level of education in language ability and who wish to express their interest in either staying or coming to the province and becoming a permanent resident of Canada. Okay, so let us now talk about the eligibilities of this program. The first one is take an English test. It's either IELTS or the International English Language Training System or what you call the CELPIP or the Canadian English Language Proficiency Index Program. The test must be within the last 12 months and is scored the equivalent of Canadian Language Benchmark or the CLB5 or above. So the second eligibility is you must be at least 21 years of age. Yes. So it means to say that all applicants must be at least 21 years old above or even if you are in your 50s, you are welcome to apply to this program. All right, so the third eligibility, intend to live permanently in Newfoundland and Labrador. Of course, you need to express that you want to live in Newfoundland and Labrador so that you have the eligibility to get your permanent residence here in NL. All right, so the fourth one is, you don't need a job offer, but your job or work 
must be in demand job category which I will show you the list later on. The fifth one is you must meet the minimum of 60 points scoring grid. We will talk about it later as well how to know your scores. With regard to priority skills of Newfoundland and Labrador, there are two types of candidates in this program. The first one is the in-demand academic candidates. So you must have completed PhD or master's degree from Memorial University within the past three years in the following specialties like technology, healthcare, aquaculture, and agriculture. By the way, if you are aspiring international student, I have videos about how to apply, cost, expenses, how to make a letter of explanation, and a lot more. So watch these videos as well. Alright, so for the second type of candidates, this is the in-demand work candidates. So you must have worked in a specialized, high-skilled, in-demand occupation for at least one full year in the last 10 years. So please take note that these jobs are the current list, but it might change and Newfoundland and Labrador might provide more jobs, so you should always check the website. All right, so we are now done with the types of candidates and eligibilities of priority skills, Newfoundland and Labrador. Let us now go to the step-by-step -step process of this program. The first one is you should calculate your points. In calculating your points, the major factors are the English or French language ability, age, education, which is under for the ECA or the Educational Credential Assessment, work experience, and adaptability. So the minimum score that you must have would be 60 points or higher. All right, so as you can see in the table, this is the point system or scoring grid for in-demand work candidates. So for the English and French language ability, age, education, work experience, and adaptability. So as you can see, the next one is for the in-demand academic candidates. Same thing with the English or French language ability. For the age, education, work experience, and adaptability specifically if you have relatives. All right, so let us now go to the second step. So after calculating your points, and once you got 60 points or above, the next step is completing an expression of interest. So this is to let them know that you are interested in immigrating to Newfoundland and Labrador. So the expression of interest process will also let you know if you meet the minimum eligibility requirements to potentially receive an invitation. The questionnaire will also ask you five topics and these are also the English and French language ability, age, education, work experience, and whether you have a family in Newfoundland and Labrador. So if you meet the minimum requirements and score high enough on the questionnaire, you will be asked to provide the following information. So these are your name, citizenship, current address, and email address. So by the way, please note that you should have an active email address and you always check as Newfoundland and Labrador government will contact you through email. Also, if you meet the minimum requirements and score high enough on the questionnaire, you will also be providing to submit three supporting documents, of course, to support your expression of interest. So these supporting documents are the first one is your resume. The second one is the education or work credentials. So by the way, for your education credential, you may submit your educational credential assessment or the ECA, certificates, diploma, and even your transcript of records. While on the other hand, for work credentials, you may provide your certificate of employment or reference letters from your previous employers. The third document is your cover letter. 
Of course, it is like a letter of explanation in which you need to intend to live in Newfoundland and Labrador. Okay, so the third step, once you submitted these three documents, the next step is the voting system of the participating employers. Yes, so there are participating employers that Newfoundland and Labrador is partnering with. So the information in your application questionnaire will be shared to these employers except of course your age and family information. So these employers will vote to each candidate based on the information you provide in a questionnaire whether the candidate will be successful in their company or in Newfoundland and Labrador. So what I mentioned earlier, this immigration program doesn't need a job offer, but these participating employers have a big factor in voting in your application. And another factor is that while you are in the process of getting your nomination, these participating employers might contact you and possibly give you a job offer. So that's the reason why that you must really have an active email address so that either the employers or government of Newfoundland and Labrador will contact you. All right, so you already calculated your points, completing the expression of interest or the EOI, and voting system of the participating employers. So the next is that you will be receiving an invitation to apply or the ITA. So if you receive an invitation to apply to Newfoundland and Labrador Provincial Nominee Program, it will be sent to the same email address that you use to register your expression of interest. And you will receive a Provincial Nomination Certificate from Newfoundland and Labrador. As I have mentioned to you earlier about other criteria of NLPNP, either a skilled worker criteria or express entry skilled worker criteria, the provincial nomination certificate can be included in your permanent residency application to the federal government in which you will add 600 points. And in that case, your score will be high enough and you will get the permanent residence approval. All right, so once you receive your provincial nomination certificate, the last step is to apply online. All right, so I will link in the description box below where you can find this website. So you will be applying through online. So you can just click whether for the in-demand work candidate or in-demand academic candidate. So you need to submit your immigration application or permanent residency to the online portal of Newfoundland and Labrador and wait for your permanent residence approval. And the processing time for this application changes, so you must check the Newfoundland and Labrador official website regularly. And it is also in the link down below. All right, so these are the information that you should know about Newfoundland and Labrador Provincial Nominee Program, specifically under priority skills. So I really hope that this video helps you, especially if you are planning to come to Canada, specifically in Newfoundland and Labrador. So don't forget to click the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so that you will be updated every time that I post a video. And if you have any questions, concern, and topics that you want me to discuss, leave a comment down below as well. Again, thank you so much for watching, and my name is Jason Jin. See you to my next video. Bye!